this laboratory has really been built uh, with the plan of bringing in complementary research groups who will have the stem cell as the focus of their research. We have groups within the lab that work on lymphoid leukemias, we have groups that work on myeloid leukemias, and then we have group one group who is working specifically on childhood myeloid leukemias. And by understanding the regulation between normal and leukemic stem cells, we would hope to find a common hub, a common pathway, a common target that is then druggable, such that you can then start to develop new drugs that will interfere with not a single gene difference, but a network or a group of gene differences, which will then turn into a new treatment for the future. You're, you're born with a set number of stem cells, and these stem cells are not just in your blood and your bone marrow, they're in your gut, they're in your hair follicles, they're, they're in every tissue. And the stem cells, because they have to exist forever, have got a whole bunch of extra mechanisms that kind of protect them from the outside. So when we then want to try and kill these cells off because they've turned into a cancer stem cell, we're stuck because they've got these same intrinsic protection mechanisms on that you would have in normal stem cells. Almost all chemotherapy drugs that have been developed so far are much more effective in cells that are rapidly dividing as compared to cells that are dormant or quiescent or asleep. So if you imagine you're, you've heard of patients who are having their chemotherapy treatment, what happens to them? They get a sore mouth, their hair falls out. All of that is because the side effect of the chemotherapy is to kill rapidly dividing cells. And the rapidly dividing cells are the cells that keep your hair growing and the cells that are looking after the mucosa of your mouth. These cells change every day, normally. So the chemotherapy drugs will very easily kill dividing cells, but it's much more difficult for a chemotherapy drug to kill a quiescent resting stem cell. Where we want to really, really focus are the differences that exist at that stem cell, uh, sustaining the stem cell population. The idea of the properties that don't let the chemotherapeutics work.